Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look at your entire month of November 2022, surrounding your love life, career, and finances, all of the above. I will be pulling a 10 card spread using the Tarot of Dragons for the main spread. Then I'll be clarifying with my favorite mystical cats tarot deck, closing out your read with a Whispers of the Ocean Oracle. All the details about the decks that I use is in the description box of every video. All right, so let's begin. I've already pre-shuffled behind the scenes. I'm just gonna give it a couple more goes, okay? Spirit, what do we have for Gemini today? Gemini, November 2022, love, money, career. What's going on with Gemini this month? Gemini, 10 card spread for Gemini. One more shuffle. Let's rock this deck for my beautiful Geminis. First card out is the King of Swords, Gemini energy, but also Libra and Aquarius. Now, the first card out in my readings is always the strongest. You see how you are this badass dragon on that perched rock? If you look closely, Gemini, that sword is missing. It's an indentation of the sword, but your actual physical sword is not in your hands. Who took your sword, Gemini? Which is telling me that in the month of November, you're on the pursuit of truth, Clarity, all right, getting more information about something, whether it's more information about a love situation, whether it's more information about a work situation, or something more personal than that. You're on the quest of finding answers, all right? And I know you're gonna find that sword by the time we're done with this reading, right? I love that. We have the Page of Pentacles, so there's someone that you're communicating with this month, and it feels very stable. Sometimes the Page of Pentacles to me can represent, you know, a coffee date with somebody that wants to, you know, catch up with you and chat, or it's an apology card, or it's someone that wants to talk about business with you. All right, a potential employer. But let's see, we have the Hanged Man Major for Pisces. Something is on a pause right now while someone searches for more information. Because when you look at the Hanged Man card, Gemini, it's the energy of self-sacrificing one's feelings to have access to the higher truth, to get that perspective that maybe one is missing. And you are on the pursuit of that truth. You may be needing to use your intuition during this time. Every information that you're needing is in your subconscious mind. All right, your higher self holds all of the information. You just need to go within, okay? But there's something that's really, you know, got you in your head this month and you're gonna get the answers, I feel. I trust you. Look at that, four swords, right underneath the king of swords. You see how you are sleeping in this photo? Above you is three swords, Gemini. And then uh, below you is the ace of swords, which is that missing sword. All right, this is telling me that something painful happened to you in the past, whether in the recent, recent past or the far, far past, even dating to your childhood that you may be struggling with this month, right? And when you're in this meditative state of mind, because the Four Swords is all about meditation, recovery, rest, this is where you're gonna get your answers. You may have been through some stress recently, whether in regards to family, romantic love, work, or something bigger than that. And it's been leaving you feeling really overwhelmed mentally to the point where you get paralyzed in your thoughts sometimes, right? But when we rest and we do things that just allow our brains to shut off for a little bit, that's when we get those little, little nuggets of information from our higher self or our spirit guides. So you're gonna get that sword, you just need a little break. So I'm strongly getting a Gemini that either needs a couple days to themselves, whether you take a few days off from work or you ask family members if you've got kids, you know, ask them to babysit or just like go for a nice walk, connect with nature, things like that. Do things that don't allow the need for mental stimuli, right? Folding laundry you can do without thinking, right? You can just go off into a little zone. Going for a run, you don't have to think about your next step. It's natural. That's where you get all your downloads. So I got a Gemini here that is, you know, dealing with some stuff, dealing with some stuff, and you're needing to find some clarity on how to move forward. Queen of Pentacles, okay. I feel like you guys are very stable when it comes to your finances. I don't feel like whatever you're stressing about pertains to money right now. And if it does, 
everything is going to be resolved with that Queen of Pentacles showing up in your reading, especially if it connects to that Page of Pentacles. So you might be getting unexpected help from family or, you know, in regards to money, or there is a boss that's looking at your profile wanting to give you a pay raise, all right? And if you're not ever struggling with money, I feel like this is connecting to other areas of your life that's really stressing you out. The death card, Scorpio energy. Some of you guys are struggling with letting something go from your past in order so you can transform and be more focused on today and tomorrow. Sometimes the death card is, you know, uncomfortable for people because it, it leaves us to the point where we have to let go of things that maybe we're holding on to because it's comfortable to hold on to them. I hope that made sense. For example, if something from your past hurt you, Gemini, and you really wish that it never happened, sometimes we get comfortable holding on to those memories of that painful event because it's all we know. Or we get so desensitized, I can't even say that word, to it, to where you know it becomes just a part of us. And you're being asked this month to not allow it to be a part of your story anymore. Okay? Like if an ex hurt you really bad or a family member, this is the energy of you know, sitting in your feelings, validating your feelings, and then letting go so that you're not being haunted by the ghost of your past anymore. Whoa, this is getting heavy. This feels like, it really connects to Scorpio's reading. Uh, let me just get the rest of the spread. Eight of Pentacles. You're working your butt off in some area of your life this month. Okay, Three of Cups, you have a lot to celebrate. You've got people around you that really want to be, be with you, be in your life. Okay, there's some good news heading your way. There's some good news heading your way, Gemini. And I got the Hermit as your advice. And your challenge this month is the Eight of Swords. Look at that. When the challenge comes up as the Eight of Swords, it pretty much mimics what I said to you earlier, being paralyzed in your thoughts having trouble breaking free, feeling limited by self-doubt, self-loathing thoughts, or other people's bullshit. Everyone that ever said anything negative to you may be stuck in your head right now. And Spirit really wants you to really know that whatever shit that they said to you doesn't define you and it's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. All right, I think I even said in Scorpio's reading, clearing the excess. It's time to eliminate things that just hold you back like anchors, right? You might have Scorpio in your chart or something big is happening during Scorpio season that needs to be addressed in order for you to release that, that energy. Look at that. And your overall energy is the fool. Time for a new beginning. Time for a new story. This is getting deep. Strength card, the eight of wands. Look at that. Look how free your wings look, all right? By, by getting, you know, a, a, by getting away from all this heavy weight, right? But the full card can also bring with its challenges, you know, scared of new experiences, all right? All right? We, we sometimes get comfortable in the same story. So let's dive in. Your career looks good. You may need to put some extra effort towards it with the Eight of Pentacles, maybe what's going on with your family situation or your personal situation has been kind of um, putting work on the side and they want you to get back to your grind because you have a lot to look forward to. And if you don't work, there's this energy of you maybe putting more time to something that would really help you out during this time. A hobby, you know, a hobby will make you feel good about yourself or allow you to like go into a different space, all right? Why is this King of Swords here for Gemini? Why is this King of Swords here for Gemini? Oh crap, I forgot. Um, I'm doing a personal reading giveaway. I'm giving away two private readings this week to two different people. I announced it on my recent All Signs reading. So if you wanna be a part of that, in the, the description box below, I'll have a link to the All Signs reading I did where I announced it. All you need to do is click on that link and comment underneath that video that you wanna be entered into the drawing. I'll either use your YouTube handle name or you can leave me a nickname to use. And I'll pull the winners Thursday night, November 10th, okay? What do we have for King of Swords? The King of Swords, okay. Whenever I get the same card as the card that I'm clarifying, it tells me that what I said earlier was 
on point for somebody out there, right? There's something painful that you're dealing with right now, whether a family member hurt you, a lover cheated on you, or just you don't feel like you can trust anybody around you right now. You may feel like the only people that you can trust possibly is your children or your child if you have children with that page there. Can I get a card on this page of Pentacles? Can I get a card on that page of Pentacles? Can I get a card on that page of Pentacles? Seven of Wands. All right, this is you defending yourself. There's something you're trying to defend yourself on. Now, Gemini, I know this sounds like a heavy reading, but you have a lot to look forward to. Your outcome position shows me the Three of Cups, which is all about celebration. Celebration. You just need to, you know, deal with a couple of things that maybe you have been putting off. Can I get a card on that Four of Swords? Four of Swords can also be going no contact on certain people. Why that Four of Swords? The Four of Pentacles. Going no contact on certain people and protecting your space, protecting your environment. I'm strongly getting that there's family surrounding you right now. There's a specific family member that is like giving you a lot of stress. Even if you're not in communication with this person, there's something that you're holding on to. You're holding on to with a death grip. Can I get a card on that death card? Can I get a card on that death card? Can I get a card on that death card? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. They're wanting you to, to heal this. To heal this and let it go. Okay? That's the message that keeps on coming through here. And look, the fool is on the bottom. Once you let go of this pain or this anger or this frustration that is like lingering around you, you're going to be able to be free. Free as a bird and removed from the, the, the chains that bind you. Okay, Seven of Swords, Judgment, Five of Wands. I feel like you being authentic about your feelings may ruffle some feathers, right? It's like you finding your truth is scary to some people. But that's not your problem. That's not your problem. If you have to upset a few people to speak your truth, speak your facts, then they should need to check themselves, right? You can't argue with facts. Can I get a card on that Eight of Pentacles, please? King of Wands, something involving work or your finances is going to be looking really, really good, right? The more you get your confidence up with that King of Wands energy. Something derailed your confidence is what I feel, Gemini, and I got that message strongly for Scorpio. You've got to have it in your rising placement, Mars. Oh, if you have it in your Mars placement, you're definitely going through it. Um, some of you guys could have a job with the family. You and family members do the same thing. You may run a restaurant with that Eight of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, or you're wanting to start your own business so that you can provide for your family if you already have children and things like that. They're showing me something working really well for you the more you get your confidence back up. What is this Three of Cups as their outcome? What is this Three of Cups as their outcome? Nine of Cups, Gemini, look at this. You've got so much to look forward to. All that negative energy removed from your, your, your thoughts. Once you let it go, it's the most freeing energy. All right, if someone really hurt you, it, it, we've all been hurt before, but if we walk around with all that heavy energy on our heart chakra, we would be all miserable Fs right now. All miserable Fs. And the world already has enough miserable people, okay? There's something going on here that I feel like some of you guys may have felt abandoned as a child, so you attach to partners that you fear will abandon you as well. Can I get a card on the Hermit as Gemini's advice? Six of Pentacles. All, I, all you want is an equal partnership, it feels like. All you want is an equal partnership in your life. And you may have felt like all this time you've never had that Six of Cups. I'm strongly getting a Gemini that is dealing with some childhood stuff or dealing with a, an ex from your past that did a number on you or there's just something that's going on here where it interfered with your confidence or your strength with that strength card but you can get it back and then start creating a life that you deserve with that magician because with your overall energy being the fool you are going to have a new beginning for yourself. Your chapter is closing and a new story is about to begin, Gemini, where you are more in control of the casting characters that are in your story. 
right? Removing people that don't belong in the in the plot anymore. What is this fool card as the overall energy? The Ace of Cups. Look at that. Ace of Cups is self-love, knowing your self-worth, and possibly new love with somebody else. If this is you leaving a toxic relationship for a new one, or this is you just feeling happy again, happy again after you went through something very scary. But you're resilient and you're strong with that nine of wands. Let me get a Ocean's Whisper. I have been getting this energy for you for a while now, Gemini. I don't know who I'm talking to, but it, it's it's showing me that you have little faith in people around you or the people that you have thought were your people, okay? These people just did not have your best interests and you're learning that and it's like you're 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 look you're looking for your new tribe. 35, number 35, help appears in various ways. There is much support for you. Sometimes you may get so adrift you forget to look to the support systems that are with you continually. Oh my goodness. And look, that was your outcome. You have the support around you, Gemini. You have friends that love you. You have family members that support you. You have people heading towards you that you haven't even met yet. You've got so much love and support around you. It's time to sift out the bullshitters. It's time to weed out the people that are fake or hurt you repeatedly or just fear you standing up for yourself, right? People that fear someone standing up for themselves are not your supporters, all right? I don't know who needed to hear this, but you're getting ready to defend yourself and find your tribe, all right? Yeah, I was hoping to give you a more positive reading, but I can't sugarcoat my reading, so I hope this helps. If it did, it feels weird saying rock this like button and subscribe, but hey. All right, till next time. Love you. Bye.